What's good YouTube, it's your boy King Infinity and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I got waves in one day. So prior to this video I had waves before but I stopped taking care of them for about 3 weeks and I'm brushing my hair so you can see that I do not have waves at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet my hair and then I'm going to pick it out. The next thing I'm going to do is take some of this cream of nature sulfate free shampoo and put it in my hair. Now it might not look like it but my hair is actually wet. I don't know for sure what's going on but what I think is happening is that the shampoo is clumping all the dirt that's in my hair together and that's why it's not really lathering up. You'll see why I think this in a second. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why I did that face, but I'm gonna rinse my hair, and then after that, I'm gonna add more shampoo back into my hair. And as you can see, instantly it started to lather up. So that's why I think it didn't lather up before because of the dirt that was in my hair. What I'm gonna do now is take this comb and start working my hair into the way I want it to lay down. Then after that, I'm gonna take the foam that came off of the comb and work that back into my hair. Now with this hard brush, I'm going to start to lay my hair down. Now this is the part that's going to take the most time because you have to be precise with what you're doing. You don't want to breeze through this because if you brush your hair wrong, it's going to cause forks. And also, you're going to have to go around your head multiple times because your hair is going to curl right back up. Now around your crown area, you're going to want to be the most careful because if you brush this area the wrong way, you might end up with a line going through the back of your head.
I actually did a lot more brushing, but I decided to do that off camera because I didn't want this clip to be that long. Now this next step is very important. You want to smooth your hair down so it doesn't curl right back up before you put the do-rag on. One thing you can do, and I did it in this step, is put a little bit more shampoo in your hands so that it could like almost hold your hair down. Alright, boom. So you want to put your do-rag on while the shampoo is in your head. Now, I like to put a wave cap on so it could like hold my hair down even more. But you don't really have to do this part if you don't want to. And then rinse out your hair. Alright, so it's the next day and I let my hair dry completely overnight. And here are the results. So that brings us to the end of this video. And if you liked it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And be sure to visit those social media links down below in the description to join my family. And if you're too lazy to visit those links, my Twitter and Instagram is right here. So with all that being said, this is the Wavy King signing off on the fam.
screaming for me. Walking 